Welcome to Romantic Tarot. So this is um, from Born Without Boundaries. I, was, I should say that straight away. Welcome to Romantic Tarot from Born Without Boundaries. These are predictions starting next weekend. So if you want to know what and who is coming toward you in terms of romance and love, messages and maybe even predictions as to uh, the, the kind of person they'd be, um, if, if you want to know those predictions or the energies for this week, go and watch the romantic tarot that I did from last week because that's what the, the energies would still be affecting this weekend. So this is for next weekend or the weekend after, okay? Now, over here on YouTube, we're going to do the full um, message, the, the initial message of what and who, what is coming towards you, maybe glimpses into who is coming towards you. Uh, for each of the zodiac signs, the timestamps will be in the description box below. And then there's an extended video if you're curious about who is coming toward you. So that could include their physical features, their characteristics, sometimes even their profession, their attitude, their personality, sometimes even how they'll be introduced to you. So all of that is in the extended video. That link is in the description box below. The reason why I keep them separate is because, you know, everybody who's in love and in romance is not looking for somebody new to come toward them. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And it may not even be somebody new, but they're not, you know, sometimes we're in the middle of love and we're happy with our partner, but we just some, want some love advice. So here on the Romantic Tarot YouTube, this is the initial messages for love and romance. Um, sometimes how to spice up your relationship or to help you through issues in your relationship or what new relationship might be coming in. But the specific of who is coming towards you, which is usually more for singles, usually, <laughs> I don't judge you, whatever you, whatever you do in your life. Um, but not everybody needs the who, right? So this is the major what is going on in love and romance for each of the zodiac signs, time stamped, easy to navigate, cross watch, etc. The same will be said, the same will be for the extended video as well. It'll be time stamped as well. All right, let's get right into it. We'll start with Scorpios. I have already meditated on the cards and pre-shuffled them. So let's just get right in. Scorpio. Let's do this. So the cards that I shuffled for you, Scorpio, we start out with our Moonology card. Oh, oh I love this. This is so awesome. Believe in the impossible. Now, to me, the first thing this card says to me is high standards. Like, like that's just it. That, that's what really this card speaks of, the energy of this card. So having really high standards and not settling not deciding that you know you're not letting your loneliness make the decisions for you but instead always aiming high and always knowing that hey i may have to be single for a while but it's going to be worth it because if i keep my standards high then i will welcome in that person who is right for me it's not about just being like i i hate to say this because i love the expression love the one you're with if you can't be with the one you love love the one you're with i don't want you guys to love the one you're with I want you to be in love with your person. I want you to be in that relationship. And I hope, and I'm thinking that that's what you want for yourself too. Now, what that means is that sometimes you might have to go single for a while. I'm not saying break up with somebody if you're in a good, if you're in a good, great relationship, then listen, it could, that could just be a statement that you guys are going to get pregnant soon, or you're going to be able to buy that house together that you thought you could never afford, or you're, he's going to get a raise, or you're going to get a raise, or she's going to get a raise, whatever, whatever the case may be. And you know, so things that seemed impossible will start to happen for you. So that's the good, happy news, especially if you're already in a relationship. But if you're looking for a new relationship, Scorpio, this is set those standards high, keep aiming high, and don't settle. I know that it gets really tempting especially if you're horny like you know what I'm saying like to just but listen we can have relations with people that we don't fall in love with that we don't have extended relationships or monogamous relationships with when you decide to give your heart to somebody okay whatever you guys do with your genitals your business and your life right experience life the way that you want to but when you when it, when it comes to your heart and your emotions and letting people into your home and even sharing a bank account with somebody like this is setting your standards high and not settling until you really know this person inside and out. You've met their family. You've seen how they behave. They take care of, they take care of their own. They take care of themselves. They're not codependent. It's not just 
bum rushing into a relationship, right? Because you're attracted to somebody. It's setting your standards high so that you're really in a soul relationship with somebody. This is, yes, it's real. It's true. It is possible. And sometimes the only reason why we don't have it yet is because we keep settling for less. And that's just the bottom line. And yes, listen, yes could be the best sex of your life. But that could still be settling because that doesn't indicate long term, I'm going to take care of your heart, right? So that's, that's where we, that's where we need to set our standards and keep our standards high always because the impossible is true. Yes, you absolutely can have it all if you insist upon it. And that just may take some time about being alone. When I see this moon, it is very solitary. It, not, it does have a lonely aspect to it. It has a colder aspect to it. It's like a winter moon, you know, but that's okay. That's good because sometimes it's like we need to just maintain, maintain and, and be happy with life while we're maintaining. This is not that you don't have options, not that you can't flirt or other things, but maintaining those high standards and always reaching for the stars and knowing that yes, the impossible is absolutely possible. And this is also really good news for those dreamers and romantics out there. Your person, that impossible person is real, it's true, and they are going to be a part of your life. This is the essence of believe in the impossible and the impossible will come to you. You understand? So this is getting in the mindset to call that person in, which means they must be about ready for you, right? The timer is almost beeped on the oven. They're almost fully baked. So get in that mindset of, yes, this is real. I'm not going to settle for half-baked. I'm going to settle for the full thing, perfectly baked. And I know that this is real. I know, I know that they're real. This is confirmation, if you've been looking for it, that your person is real. That they are true. They are in a human existence in the 3D world. They are out there and they're preparing themselves for you too. Let's go into the romantic tarot. Okay. I mean, hands down, they're coming into your life because they're, I mean, like they're just about to hit the reality because this is my timing card. This is my synchronicities card. So Scorpio, especially um, being the psychic sign that you are, expect that there is going to be a lot of signs, symbols, and synchronicities. No, it's not. Everything isn't a sign. Like somebody sneezing on the train next to you is not a sign. You know, uh, you know, the way that your blanket folds, you know what I'm saying? Like, not everything is a sign, but there will be feelings like gut wrenching feelings that you will start to have and you will start to understand that, stand that these are spirit and universe speaking to you and that the timing is coming into alignment. Both of these cards are about timing. Believe in the impossible. Be in the present and dream of the future. Why? Because if you are present in this moment, like I said, get in the mindset right now of believing in the impossible because if you are in this moment right here right now it's it's literally telling the universe lining up the universe to get everything prepared for you and listen in terms of the time frame of this card i would say this love and this romance is still a little while away from you but it's not far this is telling me that the timing is now that the timing is right that mentally the timing has to be set right here for you right now. You have to be in the present moment. But it's also a statement of um, it's it's still on its way type of energy. So what? how does that work together? Basically, by being present in the moment right here, right now, you're telling your lover where to deliver themselves to you. So if you're constantly dreaming of the future or, you know, I'll get to that when or when I lose weight, when, 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 no, now I'm ready now. I'm here now. They'll love me even with 30 pounds extra on, you know what I'm saying? It's like, there's, there's no, I need to wait until no, um, my heart is aligned. Get your heart chakra in alignment so that it is open and broadening and expanding in this beautiful way that lets your lover know I'm here and the future is going to come to you. This, this dream is going to manifest. This is 100% confirmation that your partner is coming to you. And I will say this, this is my coin just dropped into the, the coin dropped into the water. The coin has hit the water moment. For me, what that means is this is the moment when everything changes and the ripples start being cascading out and it's coming towards you. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like 
things have been set into motion in this moment. And so all you have to do is open yourself up to the infinite and absolutely just let it happen to you because it's coming. That's the message. It's coming. If you want to know who is coming towards you, if that's sort of your scenario and you're curious, that link is in the description box below. I'll see you on the extended. All right. So Scorpio, let's do uh, Sagittarius. That's how we, I shuffled the cards. So Sagittarius. Okay. Sagittarius, let's see your romantic message for this, for this coming weekend and after. You're very close to achieving your goal. Oh, I love this. Oh, so listen, this, you're either, either your person is absolutely on the, its way, but I feel like it's more. I feel like it's um, your relationship goals. I think it's like setting plans. Maybe you set your wedding date or um, if, if you've been wondering when they're going to pop the question, it's coming soon. Or the two of you have been looking at houses together and you're going to finally find one. Like that's the energy of what's happening in your romance. Whatever you have been working on as a single person to attract love or whatever the two of you have been working on together to expand your love, expand your world, make your life together better, easier, more luxurious, whatever you've been working on, it's coming to fruition. So look to a week to two weeks out, but this starts, remember next weekend. So, but this is the energy of we're almost there. Like this is, this is, this is it. You've got it. This is cool. This is reality. And it's really, really close to popping off. Um, Listen with your heart. You are listening, but need to hear with a loving heart. So there's some sort of resolution coming for the for the for you and your lover, or the two of you, or even just you as singles. In other words, resolution. You've opened your heart. You're listening. You're not just hearing what you want to hear. You're not just talking and expecting to be listened to. You're receiving the messages and comprehending and understanding. You're empathizing. That's what this is, and that's like resolution is happening. So either you and your partner. If there has been some sort of dissonance between the two of you, um, it's going to be resolved. It's, you're, like, you're going to be able to connect to each other again, believe in each other again, love each other again. This could be reconciliation or, or making up with or actually hearing from somebody that you haven't heard from in a long time. I always get that feeling for you guys, and I feel like that could be happening. Just hearing from somebody or being able to talk to somebody, uh, hear their voice again. This is that energy of reconciliation or, um, 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 yeah, just like this, the smoothing out of things. You're very close to achieving your goal and listen with your heart. I feel like this is intuitive messages coming in too, like signs and synchronicities like Scorpio got. If you open up your heart, you'll understand that there are signs to to encourage you and support you and calm you because they're almost like letting you know, yes, this is happening. It's working. It's this is fully functional. We're all go. Don't worry about it. Things are smoothing out. So there's some sort of resolution or reconciliation here. Um, even if you're single, there's some sort of resolution to like maybe you've been single for a long time or you haven't been meeting people that you've been interested in. Like the pool has just been really slim. This is actually making a breakthrough or making, yeah, making progress. At the very least, it's understanding what it is you want finally so that you can aim more accurately. Um, but I really feel it's close. That's all I can keep thinking about. It's close. It's close. It's close. So uh, this conclusion, not conclusion, uh, like you're not concluding a relationship, but this uh, resolution is close or this person that you're going to be meeting is close. Maybe you're already talking to them on the phone. This could indicate some sort of communications from afar or you've just been hearing somebody's voice and you're finally going to be able to see them or meet them. That could be as well. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's so close. Even look to next weekend or the weekend after where this is actually going to come into, into reality. Valentine's Day, this is the perfect timing for Valentine's Day. So I'm just saying you might have a date for Valentine's Day, Sagittarius, or you already have a date for Valentine's Day and you guys have just decided which romantic weekend you're going to be going on. Perfect. Um, let's move on. Oh, Sagittarius, I did want to say, if you are curious, if you are somebody, you know, if you're curious about who is coming towards you, that link is in the description box below. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Capricorn. 
Okay. Let's go. Capricorn, these are your love messages, general messages for singles and for couples. Uh, be bold and make the first move. This is beautiful and it's perfect for you because you're a cardinal sign. And I happen to know that you have no problem making the first move. In fact, it's a position that you're more comfortable in, which tells me that the universe is sort of in alignment to your favor at this point because it's putting you, it's putting your natural tendencies in the go spot. It's like, yes, what, what is more comfortable for you will actually work out much better for you. So it's actually putting you into a majorly comfortable spot because this is also saying that, hey, you get to work. You get to do this. You get to be active, actively engaging in this process and finding your love. It's all about you. You know, it's it's all about your natural instincts to get things done will really help you out this coming weekend. Make the first conversation at the bar or, you know, send that email to them through the dating website or swipe left or right, whatever you guys do. Like this is you initiating. And I know that you guys are master initiators. So it just puts you into that seat because a lot of times I've been giving you readings of sit back, sit back, and it's not comfortable for you. And I understand it. Well, this is your comfort zone, right? You get to be comfortable in love these coming weekends because it's using your momentum. It's using your decision-making process and it's using that really almost soothing atmosphere of working, of being able to do this job and engage and, and make the decisions. I don't know if you already have your sights set on somebody. I don't know if you're already in a relationship, but this is basically you get being given the green light by the universe to take the lead from here. This is going to, this is going to help you out a lot. Just take the lead, go, you're going to get favorable responses. Honesty is essential, essential speak with love. So there's some sort of deception or some sort of, it's almost like you've been holding back. You haven't been able to say what you needed to say. So this is telling me that you're able to finally say what you need to say to somebody that they could have hurt you or broken your heart or, 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 um, or if you're totally single, you're able to finally, um, come out of your shell and be yourself instead of trying to be something that you're not, or trying to be something that doesn't feel as comfortable to you. Um, generally speaking, this card is about, um, intentional deception. That's unfortunately working for the both of them. It's like one person has their back turned. So they only see the romance of the moon and the other person has a mask on is just trying to be what they think the other person wants. This is about turning around and initiating honest communications so that you can have a real true relationship. So basically this is about, um, having the self-esteem and coming into the, the good feeling about yourself to, um, to, to be yourself so that you're not picking people who are like not appropriate for you. How do I say that? Like, so you're picking people who are going to be good for who you are, not this idealized version of how you see yourself. It's also an implication that there could be somebody sort of coming out or being unmasked or being revealed to you this coming weekend. Um, especially if you're looking for somebody new, um, uh, like finding them or seeing them for the first time or finally realizing that there's something more than you thought they were. Um, it could have been somebody who has been thinking about you and wanting to approach you, not being able to talk to them because you initiate conversation with them. You're finally able to be honest with each other. This is, this is really about you. You, I'm really strongly feeling, especially this message for, uh, people who have broken up, uh, you initiating, you being able to say what you need to say to somebody who, um, you know, yeah, yeah, you need, you, you ugh, I'm sorry. I'm like all kinds of in the feels right now. Honesty is essential. Be true. Be honest about what you feel for somebody. Uh, you're a cent a hundred percent. You're taking this initiative Capricorn. You're just blatantly being honest. Maybe somebody that you tried to be something that you weren't for because you know, you, you just, you wanted the relationship so bad, but, and, and even if you're in this relationship, this is about like taking off the masks and taking off the makeup and taking off the pretty and just really being hardcore honest. This is about initiating a conversation of hardcore honesty and truth 
not about judgment, about honesty, what you're feeling inside. This is a very emotional full moon energy card, right? This is about being honest about what you feel or somebody finally expressing their true feelings for you. And that could be your husband of 20 years, right? Of finally making a breakthrough and a truth coming out that needed to be said for a long time. But Capricorn, you would be the one that would be initiating this process. Okay. Hmm. And you're prepared for it. I know that you are. If you're interested in who might be coming towards you, um, especially if you've been dealing with multiple exes or thinking about somebody but haven't heard from them in a while, that link is below in the extended of who is coming towards you. All right, Capricorn, let's go to Aquarius. Aquarius at... Aquarius. Aquarius, what do you need to release the waning moon? This is one of my favorite cards in this deck. It's so beautiful and it's because of those subtle colors of the moon. It almost looks like it's glowing. It, it's just, it makes me shake. I love this image. Um, what do you need to release? And I do feel that this is emotional. Like what emotions or ideas that you've had in your head do you need to let go of? And I said this to you and I feel like I got a similar reading in the full moon predictions. These kind of cards, this kind of energy does not come toward you and unless the universe is trying to be like, there's something to prepare for. There's something coming toward you. I need you to be like, this is the time. This is the time. It's almost like, it's almost like, you know, summer's coming. So you get to get bikini, you know, you, you know, you, so you start doing like bikini shit. You know what I'm like getting ready for bikini season. You know when it's coming. So this is the sign from the universe of it's coming Aquarius. It's coming. So this is a great moment to prepare yourself. And you prepare yourself emotionally, especially for new love affairs, by letting go. What is it that you have to let go of? Um, I feel for you guys, it's, it's, it is emotional, of course, but it, it starts up here. It starts with what decisions have you made about people? or about love that really aren't working out for you or that haven't come to fruition even if you don't want to give up on them? What concepts or people or ex-relationships do you have to just sort of forget about? Really not forcing yourself to forget, but like untether yourself and cut the ties. What's ready to be over and should have been over so long ago and maybe technically the relationship was, but uh, you still kept thinking about it. You know, like you still, like they were still your ideal lover. Well, that has to go. That has to be gone because that means that you've already made up your mind about who is the ideal lover. And maybe you don't know. And maybe it's the new that's going to be really, really wonderful for you. And that's sort of the hint behind this card is that there is something new and something brilliant and beautiful coming toward you. But you might miss it if you're still looking for it in the old. You, it could just pass you right by, even if it's waving at you. You'd be like, hey, and just keep walking <laughs> instead of, oh, hey, hey. <laughs> you know, you're never going to notice it if your mind is already filled with all of these preconceived no no notions or prejudices or hurts from the past. So this is about preparing yourself. I hear the cooing of, of uh, pigeons. P.S. Pigeons are a kind of dove. FYI, love. I'm just saying, message of love. Somebody is, has prepared themselves for you. They're coming towards you. And I've been getting this feeling for a while. Um, this could also be you finally letting go of, of, of hiding or finally letting go of trying not to have feelings for somebody. Finally letting yourself go with the flow and let love come into you. But that's the overall quality of, of the energy. Is it something is ready to come in to, to you and now you have to release whatever decisions you've made in the past and allow it to happen. Okay. Ask for help. This is a perfect card actually. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. So this is a challenge for you and this is one plus four is five. So there's major change in your decision, in what you decide, in, in, in how you choose to behave. This is about being vulnerable and allowing yourself to be open, opening yourself up, being vulnerable. Go ahead, admit that you don't know something. Admit that it's new to you. Admit that it's a little bit strange. Uh, admit that, you know, um, that you need somebody. 
this is leaving yourself a little bit, I mean, a little bit vulnerable, but that's okay. This is an emotional card. This could indicate and if you're curious about who's coming towards you, that link is in the description box below, but this could indicate a May-December relationship where there's some sort of kind of larger age gap between you or them. I mean, like, I don't know who's older or younger, but this is about somebody who's, um, could be, they could already be in your life already, but the bottom line is this could be somebody who, this is always somebody who's, um, intellect or vision or opinion or insight you really really respect so this is about somebody who you can look up to and admire and they're coming toward you so this is about preparing for this person who you would respect and admire um it's also about like i said letting yourself not necessarily be vulnerable or subjected to their whatever but just allow yourself to be honest about things that you're not sure of and i think sometimes that's very difficult for you um to just allow yourself to even be sort of honest about in other words to be honest that you even admire their opinion you know what i'm saying let them know that because it will be somebody that it that matters a lot to so um you know whether or not they're a water sign or whatever we'll discuss that in the who but generally speaking this is hey if you really respect and appreciate somebody's um somebody's opinions or somebody's brain somebody's intellect whatever let not, not it, it's not Aquarius. It's not just about going up and saying, Hey, I really think you're smart. <laughs> it's not like that. It's don't not ask the question because you think, Oh my God, they'll know I like them. If I ask the question, so what? Like let go of that wanting to hide that level of almost crazy wanting to hide, let go of it and just ask the question and ask their opinion. So maybe you could help me what really is this? And then engage in that eye contact with them. It's a great way. You don't, like you said, you're not gushing emotions, but you're engaging them. And if they see how much you admire them, well then great, because this is a wonderful time and love is ready to come to you. Love it. All right, Aquarius. Um, we have Pisces. Pisces. Hmm. You and your loved ones are safe. You know, this is about being, um, hold on a second. Hold on. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I know. I know. I had to blow my nose. I didn't want to blow it on camera. So Pisces, this is, um, so the message of this card is you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in cancer. So um, I, the messages are, are, I got multiple messages, but essentially safety, 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 safety. Now, sometimes it's like, well, what, how is that a romantic message? If you have been taking care of a loved one, worried about a loved one, um, you know, maybe taking care of an elderly parent or, or whatever, a sister, a sibling, a child, Whatever this is, it's almost like you've been nurturing somebody else and that has been getting in the way of your love life because you've been prioritizing your nurturing and taking care of somebody over your romantic circumstance or situation. Even if you're in a long-term relationship, this is it could be you're nurturing a project too. Whatever it was that you were nurturing and it's been sort of keeping you out of that romantic realm or even mindset this is you getting relieved of those burdens or those stresses or finally coming to a point where you can like let it go free and and the project is where it needs to be and you can su submit it to your boss or whatever it is it's like you now have the resources the help the assistance to be a you will be getting the help with the resources that you need or finishing up the project that you were working on that was distracting you it's coming to it's coming to a it's not necessarily coming to a close but the burden is being lifted off of you so that you have more time to basically focus on yourself it's like who
whoever you were giving all of your healing to is now getting healing of their own that is not coming from you so that you and this you don't have to constantly give away your energy you can start allowing yourself to receive and be loved again this is about you getting into that position of finally being able to receive love instead of having to give it away because those burdens have been lifted from you it's also a sense of a person and if you're curious about who's coming towards you that link is below I'll, we'll do a full description of them but it could be simply put you'll know this person because of how safe they make you feel of how certain and secure they make you feel this could be somebody who helps lift the burdens of your life as soon as you meet them they're helping you out you know this is distinguishing a person's value or like your interest in them because they're so helpful and kind and help make you feel not just lighter but safer they they fill you up this person is giving to you not just kind of expecting you to give to them and maybe they're helping you maybe they will help you take care of your elderly parent like that doesn't scare them it doesn't bother them or um it, yeah, it could be them themselves that's helping to release, relieve these burdens from you. Or, um, you know, why don't you come and live with me for a while? Don't worry about paying rent. You know, don't we all dream of that? But that kind of feeling of this is somebody who is helping you to relieve a burden on you or a burden has been released and so this someone has room to come in. But there's definitely this lightening of your load that enables you to be filled up. And that I think is like the pervasant characteristic of this person is that they are filling you up. Dude, I heard it. Okay. But this is emotionally, <laughs> emotionally filling you up and giving instead of taking. So this is a different kind of person that I think it, it took a certain stage in your life for you to reach in order to see the value in somebody like this. But they're here because so are you and you're ready. Oh, I love that energy. Have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. Look how beautiful this card is. She is just sailing on the wings of butterflies. You may also be traveling. The, to me, I got the, a message of travel. So maybe you're traveling with this person or um, you'll meet them while you're traveling or they're helping you make travel arrangements. Like I said, they're just helping you out and relieving you of some sort of stressful situation. Could have something to do with long distance. You could have met this person long distance and you're finally going to get to meet them. But overall, I think what this card is saying is have faith in this person. It may feel a little bit weird at first, but it's almost like your faith has carried you toward them and faith needs you to be open and faith is going to help you just um, open yourself up to them. The card is essentially saying you can trust this person. You can. This is somebody who's trustworthy. This is somebody who is going, is really is who they say they're, they are. <clears throat> they really are just wanting to help you. They care about you. They're a kind, good person, which I know to you would probably be like, like where's one of those at you know <laughs> like like, oh, so, like almost that energy of been through so much usually attract the vampires but this is you can have faith in this person this, this person coming towards you is somebody that you can really trust and have faith in i also do see the situations and circumstances of travel around this is like maybe they're coming to see you or like they're helping you to set up something or to or to pick something out it's like they're helping you in some way that might have something to do with bridging a gap or distance. Ooh, Pisces. I am really curious about who this person is. That link is below. So I, I'm going to find out. I hope you do too. Um, who is next? Aries. Okay, Aries. What is your romance and love reading for today or on today for this coming weekend? Okay. And it's not just for the weekend. The energy starts around that weekend time, which I think is perfect timing for Valentine's Day. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. And this is really chaotic. This is really like splatter type of, and I like it. It's, it's great energies. It's, it's really, and it's, it's great colors, but it's almost like there's a little bit of contrast and chaos going on in your life right now of there's this ideal circumstance or image or, um, ideal that's just in your head. Um, but how does it become real? This is about working through problems or issues in a relationship, maybe being frustrated. 
with your partner's inability to make decisions for themselves or you guys are having to make a lot of decisions yourself right now. I don't know, new house, new child, like some there's it's there's something in flux. There's a lot of chaos in your life right now and it will really behoove you to step back and sort of be less emotional and let go of that sort of emotional connection right now and just be pragmatic about the circumstances and situation um just to like like how is this really going to happen? How is this really going to work out? How can we really execute or get to where we need to get? Especially if you're single, this is the how, like, how do I do this? Well, you start, you start, first of all, being very, very honest with what it is, exactly what it is that you love. Taurus energy is the energy of Venus. So this is about really having high standards about the way somebody looks, about somebody's beauty, about putting their, you know, the amount of money they make, you know, top notch, like, like you want a high quality in terms of 3D quality, a high quality person. So, um, okay, how now how are we going to go about meeting those kind of people? What kind of groups do I have to associate myself with? What kind of dating sites would lead me to those kind of people instead of just the hookup losers who still live with their mother? It's like, how do I align myself? This is really asking yourself practically, how do I do it? Who, where are these people? Where do they hang out? Like, how do I find them? Because... Tinder isn't working a type of thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like if Tinder is your plan to get to somebody who's high class it might be a bad plan. So this is actually taking your time, making, setting your strategy, like, and, and being really pragmatic about it and saying, well, this is how we go from one step to another. And this is how I find the people that I would really be interested in. Maybe it's just a plan of knowing yourself and what's really matters to you and associating yourself with those groups or meetups or I don't, I don't know, a uh, uh, college or instant, whatever it is, just associating yourself with what is really important to you and what really matters so that the people that you meet in those places have the same morals, have the same goals, you know, have the same virtues or ambitions, aligning yourself, um, aligning yourself with the people who are right for you instead of the people who are wrong for you. Like, how are we going to make this work? Trying to find a way to make something work. You could have been struggling to make something work with somebody that just wasn't because they weren't right for you. And you can't always, you, you can't make every recipe with every set of ingredients. It doesn't work that way. I mean, if you've got butter, flour, and sugar, and some milk, you can make a lot of different recipes, but you're not making roast beef. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that, that's the kind of energy. It's like, what is it that you really want? And get the recipe for it. Like, if and if are you working with the right ingredients even? Do you have the right ingredients on the table? If you're craving roast beef and high protein diets, then what are you doing with all these all this pasta? And all this like, you know, flour in your cupboard. You got to clear out the flour. And this is really being pragmatic, being realistic about, well, if this is what I say I want, am I really working with th like the resources that I'll need to get there to get around who I want and be around who I want? And if you're in a long-term, beautiful, happy relationship, this is about you and your partner literally doing the same thing, like taking an inventory of what you're working with emotionally too, though. Taurus energy does tend to suggest 3D, less emotional and more practical. So this could just be, oh, you want to build that new patio? Okay, well, well we got to start taking inventory of the equipment that we have here, of the um, materials that we have here. And is, is it really going to save us money to do it ourselves if we have to buy $1,000 worth of equipment and all the material and that's more time and that's more energy and do we really have that? This is about you hashing through, could be things like that in your life, but it could be also relationship issues in your life to say, okay, we're frustrated and we're angry or we're, you're going crazy. Is this really like going crazy about something between us? Is this really, is this really, first of all, is this relationship really working out or beyond that, if the relationship is strong, are we really going about this? the right way? Like, it seems like, is this really working for the both of us type of energy? That's, that's kind of what I'm really, those vibes I'm getting, especially emotionally. Um, yeah, let's go on to your second card. This is real. Back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. Aries, this is, have you lost sight of what you really want? Like, what did it, this is your ideal. Like, this is what you really, really want. So how do you really, really get there? This is you mapping out the plan, putting a GPS toward what you really want, not just what's coming to you. 
it's not about that anymore. It's not, it's not, it, it's a good time to not just sort of throw the dice and let them land where they fall. It's really not, it, this isn't a gambling time. This is a time to get with this earth energy that you're being encouraged to do, which is make a plan. Like how, what do you really want and how do I get there? Like that's a hundred percent. But first you have to be honest with what you really want. You know, is the relationship that you're in really satisfying you or are we on the path that's satisfying us as a couple really? Or is all this frustration that we've been feeling and all this emotional stress that we've been putting each other through, is that actually just symptomatic of being headed in a direction that may have been easier for us or may have been painted by somebody else for us, but do we really want it? So it's about first being honest with yourselves and getting real real, right? And then figuring out how to get to the place where you really want to be, right? Whether it's with your lover, with your husband, wife, or by yourself, getting to your future husband or wife. Um, this is about setting those sights realistically. If you're curious about who's coming towards you, it'd be really interesting to know if who is coming towards you matches up with who you want to come towards you to see if your energies are aligned. That link is below. I hope to see you over there, Aries. All right, moving on to Taurus. Okay. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What is your energy for love and romance? You guys have been really getting awesome cards. A new romantic cycle begins. First and foremost, this is about new love. So a new lover coming into your life. If you've been single a while, if you've been single just a day, it doesn't matter. There is romance on the horizon for you and you timed it perfectly, Taurus. You really did because you're arriving just about the Valentine's Day mark. So you may not have a Valentine for your, for, you may not have a Valentine date this year, but you're gonna get one. You might meet somebody around that time. This is a really loving energy of not only meeting someone, but meeting someone of significance because they are a balance for you. They are an equal. That's what the scales represent. They're not just some wild, passionate fling with somebody that you don't have any real long-term chemistry with. This is somebody who's an equal, who will bring an equal um, balance, like e bring equal energy into the relationship. This is a sister sign, Libra energy, sister sign of Venus, right? You guys are more that Venetian energy of luxury and beauty and looking good and feeling good and taking care of yourself and just like having a pretty face and being put together, nice clothes, nice things. Like, you know, Venus likes to look good. But this Libra energy is about partnership in Venus, right? So it's about romantic and sharing yourself and giving and taking toward each other in a balanced way about sharing your life with somebody. So this is a beautiful energy coming into your life, especially for singles, because this is a hint that yes, you are on a roll Taurus and your prosperity is going to keep on going. And there's somebody new coming into your life or this person that you've been seeing, the energy is picking up with them. Uh, more romance is going to happen to you. If you're in a long-term relationship, Taurus, this is just about being really, really romantic and lovey-dovey with your husband or wife, um, whoever is in your life, this is about being able, oh, well, this is about them, like you really feeling loved by them, I think, in that them really giving you as much as you've been giving to them, uh, a real nice, happy, sound balance in love and romance for you. And if you've been experiencing, um, Let's say this, if you, if you have had a little bit of tumultuousness in your relationships, this is about that ebbing, like that coming to, that coming to not a standstill, but balancing out, resolving, resolution happening in any kind of long standing, you know, irritation or argument that you guys have been having. This is about that being resolved, coming back to balance and feeling that love for each other again. Sometimes that's hard, man. <laughs> we piss us off. It's difficult. So I get it. Um, but look at the card you got. So this is beautiful. This is physical touch. A tender touch can mean so much. 
And maybe that's just it. Is like that expression of physical touch is going to bring the two of you back into balance. This is for singles, somebody coming to life, like somebody that you dreamed of being the person that you actually meet. This is about manifesting them into your life and then becoming them going from fantasy and concept to a reality. So that's a confirmation. But this is all about getting to spend physical time together, especially if you're in a relationship. Your physicality will matter a lot this coming weekend and the week after. It will matter to touch people, to share and express your, of course, with consent. <laughs> Hello. Um, 100% with consent, but this will be consensual. This will be them meeting, it could be meeting a partner. This is a heads up for people who are looking for new partnership. And if you're looking for who is coming towards you, that link is below, but this is a little hint of they like physical touch. They express themselves and express love and receive love through the act of physical touch. It's very, very important to them. And maybe it's very important to you, but physical touch is gonna mean a lot to this week, this coming weekend and after. It's going to bring you back into balance. Maybe you guys haven't been getting the time, like you're busy with the kids or something like that, whatever. You haven't been getting the, you know, one-on-one -on -one time that we need so much in our lives. This is you actually being able to be physically amorous with somebody, be able to exchange those touches, exchange those glances, like feel that romance through physical touch. It could just be brushing against somebody's bottom as you walk by them when they're washing dishes. You know, it could be very, very simple, but it, it doesn't have to be elaborate and it doesn't have to be overtly sexual, but it is definitely physical touch, a, a, cuss, a, a kiss on the forehead, you know, a swipe on the cheek, just touching somebody's face, like rubbing their back. Those kind of things can express so much beauty and abundance and how we feel for each other. And they're going to be especially important to you starting next week. Like I said, this is also if you're starting a new relationship, somebody actually showing you that they love you. Maybe this is your first kiss. Maybe it's the first time they grab your hand. Maybe it's them wrapping their arm around you, sharing their jacket with you, sharing their food with you, feeding you. It's a physical expression and exchange that lets you know beyond any doubt that you matter more than other people. Mm. Mm. That's my favorite energy. <laughs> it is so true. That is my favorite energy. Taurus, love it. I'll see you over on the extended. Okay. Gemini. Ooh, Ooh I can still feel the Taurus. Mm. All right, Gemini, let's focus. Your cards have already been meditated on. So, Gemini, you are good enough. You know what's really interesting? It's like Gemini's, this is interesting energy because Virgo tried to pop out in different ways than you too as I was shuffling the cards. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo, which could be a very different energy for you. They they tend to not be spontaneous. They tend to be pragmatic. They tend to be over judgmental, but they are your sister sign. And it's interesting how you're connecting in terms of romance and love. You're connecting with Virgo energy when during a period, during, during Mercury's shadow period, when we're about to go into retrograde, when both you and Virgo will be particularly compromised in how you communicate with the world and what you'll be able to share with each other. Um, it's really, really interesting. So what this tells me is this is about communication. This is about um, self-expression, being able to demonstrate who you are and feel confident in, in who you are. And this is about being a little bit compromised for a while. It's starting next week. So next weekend into, into the week after, while we're in that Mercury shadow period, it could be your normally very confident self feeling a little bit hesitant, feeling a little bit shy, feeling a little bit like withdrawn, like you really don't want to take the chances you normally would or feeling blatantly misunderstood. That's because Mercury is in retrograde. It'll only be there for three weeks. Don't worry about it, Gemini. But this is just knowing that communications could be down in that you won't be able to find the words that you normally will. You won't have them at easy access the way that it, it normally would. So what that you normally would. So what might behoove you is to just sit back and watch other people being themselves to listen more than you speak, 
to sort of, um, yeah, Virgo energy is a very giving energy in terms of nurturing and comforting and cultivating. So this is understanding those aspects of yourself and those abilities in yourself and, and using it to the best of your ability next weekend. Um, you are good enough. It's just telling me that you will be compromised in some way like next starting next weekend and a hundred percent has to do with how you're able to express yourself and i don't see that you'll be missing anything even in three weeks time that you can't make up the time for like that you'll lose forever but there is a sense of maybe you just won't it's like you're meeting somebody that you don't feel good enough for that could be it too you know um who's coming towards you if you want to know that link is below. It's in the extended. That's the extended conversation. Is this somebody that you feel is too good to be true? Is this somebody that um, sort of makes you feel in some way, not intentionally, this is your this is your understanding of yourself, your relationship with yourself. This could also be Mercury retrograde, starting to think and reminisce of past relationships. And for some reason, getting tempted to reach out to people that you haven't talked to in a while so that's a big old red flag too gemini you could be getting into that um oh maybe i should call them i've been thinking about them i think the truth of the matter is in some cases it may help especially if you're like resolving issues with somebody um but since communications are a little bit wonky this might not be the best time to delve into deep conversations with people this is more or less i feel like especially because of the time we're coming upon gemini a warning, a cautionary card for you about, listen, you might want to lie low for like at least the uh, like the week between next weekend and the weekend after. You might just want to lie low for a while. You might get these urges to call people and make amends with them, but then your words are going to be misinterpreted anyway. So if you still want to after the retrograde is over, then do it. But pause just take a pause because you aren't going to be feeling your best and you're not going to be communicating your best and that's not a good time to reach out to somebody especially somebody that you've had issues with now it could also speak to the fact that somebody's coming back in your life screaming and yelling at you try to persecute you type of energy of and and like you just don't even pick up the phone like it's easy for you to just turn it off turn it on mute block them delete their number type of energy um, just, just be prepared for it. Uh, miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. Really contradictory card. Um, but this is more earth energy, right? Because, uh, three plus one is four. So that's solid, stable earth energy, reliable, dependable. You're getting double earth energy here. So this is a lot, I think a lot, the, the energy is a lot more stable than for you you're used to, but that's why the unit what the universe is telling you it's telling you to slow down it's telling you to not try to move as fast as you normally do um that that will be the most beneficial to you it's telling you to look over the options that are sent to you you still will be getting blessings and miracles but you might want to be a little bit more cautious of how quickly and how excited you are about them it's just yes you do deserve all this abundance you it might be you yourself not really think not really believing in the sincerity of the of of everybody who's offering you wanting to take you out on a date or even offers from your current spouse or the person that you're with it's just the motion of the planets that's all it is um so take more time that's what it's saying move slower go slower gemini yes these uh options are coming towards you maybe your lover is gifting you with a bunch of gifts it's like okay maybe don't open them all at once just say one at a time i want to experience this slowly as retrograde is going to affect you could affect you dramatically take your time go slow you may just actually be getting feeling really good that you're hearing from somebody that's coming back from your past or that um, word that you've been waiting for or something is finally breaking through that's taken a long time that's probably going to have to happen after the retrograde though Miracles and blessings, everything has its gift, and you are good enough. This is almost, I would say you're finally being able to meet somebody that you actually really finally deserve. 
like that if if you're totally single like you you finally being able to see somebody of substance like meet somebody of substance or appreciate the substance in them um hold on let me take a second though This is definitely you receiving. You know, how about this? You could be hearing from exes, even if you don't really want to hear from them, like let them leave the voicemail. I wouldn't be surprised if people start to communicate their appreciation toward you and their forgiveness toward you. Um, some might try to use that as a way to get back with you. But like I said, that's what voicemail is for. Like let it go to voicemail, let it go to um, DM, um, or text message. You don't have to respond to everybody. And that's what I'm getting from this card. It's almost like receive it. Know that this, it's a statement of, yes, you did deserve better, but understand that this may not be the best time for you to reach back out and communicate to them. Just allow yourself to receive. This is more the listening end of communication, Gemini, for next weekend to the weekend after. This is about let yourself just receive the compliments. Let yourself receive the praise. Let yourself receive the apologies. But don't feel obligated. You are good enough. You actually deserve these messages that are coming towards you. So don't feel like you have to like give it all away immediately. You know what I'm saying? Just like answer them when you get a chance. Like, or if you never want to listen to it, don't listen to it. You know, if you never want to respond, don't respond. But this is about you just letting yourself be sort of filled up instead of like hyperactive moving forward type of energy. So that would be really interesting. Who you might be hearing from, that is Insights for the Extended. And that link is below. I hope to see you there. All right, Cancer. Okay, Cancer. Whew. Oh, okay. Oh, I sort of want to cleanse my energy before I delve into this. Cancers. Cancers, cancers. Emotions are running high. I mean, duh. Like, <laughs> it could be something coming off the full moon, like us. Like, sometimes we feel things. Oh, Cancerians, we're so crazy. It's like sometimes we feel things after the fact because we sort of block and buffer them and they don't get to us till like a week after they started to happen. So whatever there's emotions or whatever the abundance coming in or whatever we had to release from the full moon, it's just this energy of like it finally all hitting us and expect to cry, expect to be really emotional, expect to feel like it's a full moon next weekend, even though the full moon has passed us by a week. Expect it. Let's see, actually, give me a second. I wanna see next weekend um, where we're gonna be in terms of the moon. So give me a second. By the way, Cancerians, you should all have a moon chart to see what, what uh, sign the moon has traveled into because it's literally our planet changing on us, you know, changing energies on us every two and a half days. So it's good for us to know where those energies are going to be. Um, where will the full moon... So we have a full moon in Leo here Sunday. So... A new moon in Pisces. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm taking the time. I really want to take this time. Hold on, hold on. Got it. Okay, so by next Sunday, by next weekend, we'll be in Scorpio and going into Sagittarius energy. Okay, so that Scorpio energy, especially starting that Friday... Oh, ha cha cha. Mm, the moon is going to be in Scorpio on Valentine's Day. Hey, Cancerians, that's going to affect you. That's why emotions are running high. Mm. 
And then it's going to go into a more emotionally chaotic, emotionally liberal, emotionally free sign of Sagittarius. Whatever it is, we're going to be, it's going to be overpowering for us. So understand that next weekend, the moon's going to be in Scorpio and Sagittarius. And we're going to be sort of overwhelmed by the passion, the fury, and the fire of Sagittarius after Scorpio. There's just going to be a lot of... Um, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, um, Scorpio is ruled by Mars, a lot of really knowing what we want. Let's put it that way. <laughs> let's put, let's put it that way, Cancerians. We're going to be ex emotionally so on point about everything that we want. And maybe even being a little bit stubborn and insistent and like in people's face about it, that kind of like, look at this moon. It's so like, it's super moon. It's like in people's face about, so we could be in people's face about what we want, about needing love, about what we need from love. Um, let just, just be aware of that because uh, especially sensu sensually speaking, that might be nice, but in terms of that Sagittarius pro like progressive energy, it might be overwhelming for somebody to hear that, especially after we've had really great sex with them. It just may be like a lot for us to handle, a lot of either messages coming into us or coming from us. We're going to be experiencing things next weekend as if, as if everything is super intensified. So... Now that I know, it's not just next weekend though, it's kicking off for the next week between next weekend and the weekend after. So you have Sagittarius, Capricorn, Moon, Aquarius, Pisces is next, Aquarius and Pisces is next week, is the weekend after. Oh, okay. So Now, in terms of who's coming towards you, this information could help too, because there's different signs that could be toward, coming toward us at different times. So that information is, is going to be below. But this is about super passion. This is about super sensuality and super like connecting psychically with the person that you're with. So, I mean, I, honest to God, Cancerians, I would just sort of like, don't even try to get in your way next week like over the next couple of weekends because you are going to be like an emotional like like um fury emotional like forest fire almost like that's what what you're going to feel like I know you're like well I kind of feel like that all the time but <laughs> all right then you're prepared way to go <laughs> it's just going to be emotions running high which could mean in a good in a good way there's going to be a lot of intense sensuality, pleasure, and emotion happening to us this coming, like starting next weekend. A lot of intense emotion. That could mean that people are feeling great things for us or that we're finally finding somebody that like, like really like, like, mm, like we're into, but it's not going to be subtle. It's going to be overwhelming. It's going, but it's, it's, it's not going to be overwhelming for us. It's going to be us. And I think the only thing that we can receive is the same sort of intensity coming back at us. And that could be make for like either the best weekends of our lives or the worst experiences of our lives. But it's not going to be subtle. That's all I'm trying to say, Cancerians. The heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. Remember how I said psychically? This could definitely be connecting with people in your dreams. This, that's, could be def definitely the energy, but it's also about, um, oh, it could be a warning about somebody coming onto you really, really fast and being really passionate, but there's something underneath. So be careful. It's going to be hard because we so want that kind of passion for us, but be wary because it, it probably is too good to be true. Or even if they're really into us, they're probably an emotional mess underneath. There's something below the surface that isn't right there on the surface in all that passion and fury. Like what's fueling the fire may not be so savory for us. It's I'm telling you, it's, this is almost a cautionary tale of, getting caught up in emotions, like so much emotions and really not getting to the heart. Like you're so caught up in the emotions, you're not getting to the heart of really the situation. It, it could just be a really fun, wonderful weekend if we're able to let it go. But that's the cautionary tale with us, isn't it? If, if this is really, really is too good to be true, then that could get us into some 
worst weekends of our lives kind of energy. Um, but then it could also be somebody who has been holding back from you, somebody who has been repressing their emotions or even hiding themselves from you. Not starting next weekend. It's coming like they're going to be in your face. It's going to be revealed. Like this is the moon energy. This is the moon card. Something hidden, something hidden, hiding, hiding, hiding your true emotions, hiding what you feel, everything that you've been hiding or trying to barrel up inside of you. It's going to just come flooding out all of your fears, all of your passions is going to come flooding out or it's going to be coming at you. So let's see who's coming at you. That's in the link below, but it's going to, it's, it's, it's just, and that's where I think the passion is coming from. That's where all of this supercharged emotion is coming from is the things that were beneath the surface that we were hiding and holding back or the things that they were hiding and holding back all coming out, flooding us. Now, luckily we are really good at ridiculous amounts of emotion, but other people may not be. So that's just an FYI, but definitely do. This is really juicy. I'd like to actually do an extended reading just for this because it's like, well, what are they hiding? You know, like what, what do they have to say? What do they want to tell us? Do they want to tell us that we're the love of their lives and they've been, they've been thinking about us forever? Or we may not even know this person, right? Or it could be the person that we're with for 50 years. They've been holding back. Or maybe we've been holding back, you know, for their sake, which we do all the time. Well, not, it, we're just like the floodgates are going to open and it's all going to come out. Like that's kind of, I think what the, the Mercury retrograde, the shadow period is going to do to us is like, communications it's like too much information is just going to come out because it's been held back for so long so be prepared oh my god cancerians i'm actually really glad that this reading came out for us because maybe if it didn't like share this with your friends especially those ones who are cancerians or dating cancerians because it's about to be a we're about to enter an shit storm and it's just like it's just like at least we can be prepared. At least we can know and prepare the ones that we love. Um, but like I said, if this is a new person, you may not be able to prepare. This, this could be something that's been hidden beneath the surface. that's finally being revealed to you and it's just going to overwhelm you emotionally or not be, not overwhelm you. It's, it, but there is a little bit of shock, like a lot to handle. FYI. Um, all right, let's move on to Leo. We start at Okay, nice. Leo, let's do this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Bring love into the situation. You guys, I've been getting this card for a while and people were giving me a little bit of sass on my page. You know, everybody has to like always sh like share, share their stories about, well, this is what it meant for me. Okay. Um, Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. This is about being honest and true about your emotions and about what you feel for somebody else. This is 100%. As soon as I saw the card, Leo is spilling their guts. Leo is letting somebody know how much they love them. It's not, they don't even want to play around anymore. They don't want to play the cat and mouse. Um, they don't want to play at all. They know that they found somebody and this is the person. This is about being honest. Or if you haven't found anybody, this is about being honest about what you want and the expectations you have for love. Like that's what this is about. But 100% this is getting to the truth and letting the truth come out and sort of spill your guts. That's what you are. This is, especially if you're in a new relationship, This is that's the prominent energy that's coming out. And you can apply these energies to long-term relationships or new situations, but this is a newer flirtation, somebody that you've just started to see. It's like, this, this is the energy of, this is when you will tell them that you love them. Perfect for Valentine's Day, very sensual energy on Valentine's Day. The moon will be in Scorpio. We will be feeling very, very amorous. We'll be feeling very psychic, like very connected psychically to them being able to understand their emotions without even having to talk to them about it. Like this is feeling really connected to somebody. And because this is Aquarius energy communications, uh, you're telling somebody how you feel that is you're being honest. It's there's, and it's not even like you've been trying to hold back. It's just, you finally reach the point where you're comfortable enough with the emotions to say what you what you feel, to say, to tell them how you feel. And this is bring love into the situation. 
You're telling them that you love them. This is telling them that you love them for the first time or reminding them how, how much you've loved them for 25 years. Whatever this is, this is you communicating honestly what your feelings are. If you have, if you are, you felt your partner, your husband or wife feeling, being agitated with you, upset with you, uh, getting distant from you, this is about you. I love you. I love you so much. I, I don't tell you enough, but God, you mean so much to me. This is also about maybe they're communicating it with you. You can always reverse these energies, right, Leo? But this is the communications of those loving words, of those loving sentiments. And it's not insincere because it's Aquarius energy. Aquarius is the, the truth bearer, the water bearer. This is the truth. This is honest. It could be time. It could be schedules that have kept you from being able to be this amorous for a while. But, and it's not just about gushy, gushy love. Oh, would you, would you, would you, you know, it's not like that. It's about looking somebody in the eye and letting them know that you know them, that you see them. You know, that's that feeling of, I see you. I see you and I love you. I, really like looking somebody in the eye and expressing truly and honestly how much you love them. It's going to just go so far and mean so much. Receive with love and appreciation. Oh, that just gave me the chills. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. So this card suggests that you are actually going to be on the risk. I always think the energies can be reversed. So take it as it applies to your life. But this is implying that you're going to be on the receiving energy of somebody showing you that they love you. And you will be very receptive to it. You will be very open to it appreciate it like this just let him just let him like appreciate it take it in let him see the expression on your face of how much you love them too um you in other words this will be this is somebody that you really really care about either already or you're going to have some instantaneous chem chemistry with this person because it's going to be very easy for you to receive their messages of love. They're saying it the right way. They're doing it the right way. It's just going to be so simple for you to believe them. And it's, it's true. It's tr they're, like, they're not being insincere. You'll know their sincerity. You'll know it's real. You'll know them well enough to really not only know that they're sincere, but also um, you know them well enough to know... Um, um, for it to matter to you, right? Like, like, yeah, for it to matter to you. So this is about somebody just expressing their true feelings for you and, and you really, really liking, this is good news for you, Leo. I love this energy. Who, who is it? Who is coming towards you? That confirmation is in the link below. I hope to see you over there. All right, Virgo, Virgo. Uh, Ooh, what is your message for today of all days today or stop message on today but for next weekend let's do this a win-win outcome is for them this is awesome this is love energy this is really being able to strike that in between and find that balance if you've been finding and feeling an imbalance in your relationship this is the two of you finally being able to get back on keel, like being able to get your sea legs on, even if you're in it, because I know there's been a lot of change going on for you guys, but even if you're in like, like still on the ocean and riding that, it's like now you can finally find that balance between the two of you. This is equal love and equal partnership. If you're in a new partnership, this is somebody returning your love with full reciprocity. Yay! Um, um, or showing you the same sort of interest and in doing for you as you do for them. Mm, hello. Um, this is a really happy Valentine's Day. That's what this is. Um, it's not about showing gifts. It's about finding that medium between you. It's like body, mind, and spirit. This could be about meeting somebody that appeals to all those three sides of you, those three aspects of your personality, but more so... I feel like this is finding somebody who balances you and equalizes you or finding, especially in long-term relationships, it's almost like resolution. I do want to say that. Um, resolving some sort of issues that have been going on between the two of you. If there has been upset or you haven't been feeling like they've been giving enough or maybe vice versa, 
you know, this is the week that you not only have, find, have the conversation, I feel like you've already had the conversation is what I'm saying. So this isn't about necessarily communicating the issues. This is about finding the resolution to the issues. This is about, oh, fine. Like just like feeling that release of, oh my God, things are back to normal between us. We're happy again. Oh, thank the Lord. Like, like maybe you were afraid this wasn't going to work out or maybe you were, you, you were concerned that this was going to keep going and that there was no resolution and that, that this craziness was the new norm and you didn't like it. Well, Virgo, the resolution is happening. The, the like your, 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 your equal limit, e your relationship equilibrium is going to be balanced out again. And it's just going to feel so good for you because I feel like your relationship especially means a lot to you. It is part of what makes you feel stable in life, right? You depend a lot on it for not only the balance in terms of love and romance and sex, but in terms of your, the rest of your life, it's a cornerstone for your life. So when your relationship is out of balance, your whole life feels like it's out of balance. And it could very well be if you have felt like your life was out of balance for the, for the, for the past few weeks, it could have been stemming from your relationship being out of balance and you just not realizing how much that was affecting everything else. And, oh, it's like, finally, in other words, it's just, it's more than just relationship happiness that this relationship happiness is going to give you. It's overall happiness because it's returning a major solidity, like a, a major, um, it's a major, um, um, firmament. It's, 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 it's really digging in and it's, it's, it's returning you. It, uh, it's like putting the cornerstone back into its place. That's what it is. It's returning that sense of stability to your relationship, which then in turn contributes it to every aspect of your life. Ooh, that is, and for you, I feel like I couldn't give you better news. <laughs> I do, seriously. Oh, okay. Oh, Virgo, this is such beautiful energy. Okay, I love you. Oh, do you feel like, the, like, and I've been getting music for you a lot lately. So maybe it's just, you know, especially with the retrograde coming up, shut off your voice, turn on the music and let, let the pop star sing it for you. You know, let the, let, let the rock and roll, like let, let them take it. It was recorded many, many moons ago, you know, like tell somebody that you love them. I love you. And maybe you don't, yes, you say it, say it with a song. You know, dedicate, like turn on the music when your when your lover or your husband or wife comes in and then like just let like let the song lyrics let them know how much you love them. But this is definitely about it's almost like you weren't making time for each other, or maybe somebody had held back and you hadn't heard I love you in a long time. Like life takes us off course. We get distracted by a lot of different practicalities that need immediate attention. And then we then sort of um, um, deprioritize our relationships and forget how important our relationships are to us. But this is you like finally hearing those words again, finally getting that attention again, or finally telling them, expressing to them how much they mean to you. It's like letting the two of you even just have a single moment where all you do is look at each other and tell each other, I love you 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 are my choice you are my choice and i'm so happy that i choose you and that you choose me it's about that reaffirming it's almost like um repeating your marriage what is that uh re when you uh repeat your, not repeat your marriage vows um renew like renewing your marriage vows to each other maybe not literally but definitely finally Finally, and that adding so much stability in your life could be very little, very simple. Hearing a song on the radio, like having them dedicate it to you, like turn on the television and like go to the music station and be like, let's dance here in the middle of the living room. Something that just brings the two of you back to just each other, even if only for a second so that you can like catch it, Virgo, and know that yes, they're still there and the balance is still there and they still care about you. Um, 
especially for singles though no no it's that's especially for couples for singles though this is definitely maybe for the first time you hearing or them expressing to you how much they love you so that you can be sure and you can stabilize it's not like a guessing game anymore they're finally like openly blatantly telling you i love you and what a better weekend to do it on than valentine's day that's all i'm saying divine timing is seriously working in your favor Ooh, i love you i love you i love you if you're curious about who this person is even though i kind of feel like you already know but you might want to just hear about them that link is below um and now we have libra 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 okay um where are we okay the end of a tough cycle approaches capricorn full moon was he okay i loves my girl okay so actually i'm really curious about what this card is but let me get into the, the about what the um romantic tarot card is but first let me talk about this because I've been getting the fact that you have been in a hard space for a while. And it could be, usually it's coming through a relationship, a relationship that was really challenging for you. Um, but it could very well be that, you know, you've been single for a long time, right? And you haven't wanted to be, but there hasn't been anybody that really, that you really wanted. This is, it's done. It's coming to an end. Like this is the conclusion, Libra, that you really, really needed to find that happy space in your heart again. So this could be partnership finally coming to you next weekend. The passions are high. We have <laughs> kisses. That's not our house. Kisses. You're good. This is about, it's just about resolution. It's about releasing and being able to relinquish and feel good about a, yourself again. It's about the ending of a cycle that has not been comfortable for you. Whether that be the fact that you were single so long because you couldn't find somebody. This is beautiful energy. I just checked the moon calendar. There's The moon is in Scorpio on Valentine's Day. This is like really being able to be connect psychically and deeply and emotionally uh, with somebody. Right? This is sensual. Um chemistry and sensuality that kind of beautiful energy for valentine's day what a wonderful day so this could be more options opening up to you definitely go out even if you're even if you're a single go out with a friend and just you know meet people or, or be doing something that you love around a group of people and this is a wonderful wonderful like weekend to kick off meeting new people and talking to new people and really starting to have an interest come back. But this is, that's if you have been single. Now, if you have been in a relationship and it has not been working out, maybe you've been having some tough times between you two. Well, those are going to be resolved. You're gonna, like, like no more tough times. You're finally going to like, something is going to happen that solves it. That helps to like crack open both your hearts and make you feel good about each other again. Now, in the other circumstance, this could be the relationship is finally over. You've been holding on to it for so long. You haven't wanted to admit that it wasn't working out. You've been trying to make it work out. This is like the divorce papers are signed. It's been finalized. It's done. It's over. Thank God. Either way, all of this is a release for you because uh, unfortunately, even though you are the scales of balance, you the, the downside to that could be you ending up like the negative side to the scales of balance is ending up in limbo and nobody making any choices and things being stagnant for too long because a decision can't be made, you know, like, or there's no movement happening. The limbo's over with it's done. Capricorn doesn't, this energy doesn't accept limbo. <laughs> it's it's kind of just like treads right over it and bashes its way through it. So this is a wonderful energy for you to release that limbo release whatever stagnated place you've been in whether that be being single for too long whether that be um a, an issue with your relationship that you were trying to work out but couldn't this is about getting back to that happy place with your partner 
or finally being able to leave your partner and and having a relationship that a dra- this won't be all of a sudden somebody dumps you this would have been being in limbo having that relationship drag on for years this is finally you can let it go it's done it's over with it's over with for the both of you so that you don't have them making you feel guilty so that you feel like you have to keep in limbo more you know it's over with it's done it's completed there's just a big romantic loving release about this card because it's like cosmic the cosmos coming in to save you especially if you didn't know what to do and you were part of the limbo it's bashing through that and being like i'm gonna fix this like here here's here's the energy that you need libra it's helping it's helping it's helping Oh, I love that energy. Thank God. Um, Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. This is the energy of four plus two equals six, which to me always is love because six is the major arcana tarot card. I'm a tarot card reader. Yada, yada, yada. This is telling me confirmation emotionally. This is not limbo. This is not escape. You can, it's a spa day. That's what this is. Like, that's what this is. Now, you could be going to a spa with your lover, right? Going away for a romantic retreat, feeling all the emotions around you and being so comfortable and like floating on a cloud. So this could be a beautiful weekend for you at a spa. But this is that energy of spa day, of finally whatever has been causing you tension, whatever has been causing you discourse, done, over with. You feel like you're at a spa. See, this is protective. This is the universe coming in, Papa Poseidon coming in there and just like spearing anybody that's causing you trouble, like getting it all out of the way so that you can relax. You don't have to feel this burden anymore, Libra. This Libra is going, this this burden is taken off your shoulders. You can finally rest assured. Do you see the peace? There's peace here. There's a not so peaceful beginning to a very peaceful ending of Finally, this is over. We get through it. We ram through it and it be settled so that you finally, 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 Libra, can feel some peace in your life again. This peace is restored. You're in a safe, happy, happy place again. OMG, that is such good news. If you are curious about who's coming toward you, that link is below. I hope to see you on the extended. Ooh, Libra. That is, that is really, really good news. Really good news for you. What a wonderful energy to just finally, especially in love and romance, to finally be able to like fall into somebody or fall into bed with a, with a, with a, a light heart and a light spirit. It's like, thank God. All right. So hopefully I'll see all of you guys over on the extended. I hope that I do. It's easy to cross watch over there. So just letting you know, this is a perfect time to buy the extended because Valentine's Day is coming up. So I know you want to know. I'll see you guys over there. Bye.